1959 to 1989, 30 years that changed the world. Also changed the fortunes of this company that made this car 30 years ago. It's now 2019 and this car is now 30 years old. Qualifies for vintage tax here, but actually anything that's in the 80s has to have an NCT, which just one of those two. I don't know how many more NCTs is gonna pass, but right now it is a mint condition Mini. Back when Mini was actually Mini Small. Yes, the company's been building Minis for 60 years now, and this one's 30 years old, but in 89, the fortunes of this company was about to change. Because by 1993, Mini was bought out by BMW. But can you really take a vintage car that's 30 years old and make it a daily driver? You're going to have to subscribe to find out the answer to that question. So hit the subscribe button, click the bell icon beside that as well. And let's have a look and see how a 30 year old Mini compares inside, well, to everything else. Fold myself into it first. So Minis mounted their engines differently, which allowed them to push it forward, which gave more dashboard room here and more room in the cabin in general. So it's actually, it's kind of roomy, but for the driver, that's where your knee is going to be constantly on the accelerator. Uh, and the brake and the clutch so it's it's a bit cramped for a tall guy like me right let me close the door now ah no thud there boys no thud there <laughs> it's made of steel so anyway looking around what do you get nothing no now you do you get a speedo so they stop mounting it here you get a speedo you get a fuel gauge you get a temperature gauge you get a couple of lights to tell you the battery condition and you get a rev counter you get two vents either side here and then across the middle here i have a few things this turns on and off the headlights this is the hazard warning lights rear window the mister i have no idea what that button does that's the manual choke and i don't know what that one does over there as well i think there might be heat i think there might be i don't know it's, it might be heat then beneath that you've got a switch that says car screen off and on off which it which is the blower inside the end you do something i have a radio there which has a tape deck in the jvc no idea if that's original. It looks like an original box, but I'm not sure whether that originally came in an 89. Although I did have a couple of 89 cars over the years, most of them Japanese, like a Toyota Corolla. And that had heating and electric windows and a radio and all sorts of stuff. After that, you get a little ashtray up here. And my daughter, who loved Mr. Bean idea, gave me a little teddy to be in here as well. So Mr. Bean's teddy's here, of course, because Mr. Bean being one of the most famous mini drivers ever, uh, stay quiet there now, and we'll keep going. Um, gearbox, I get a four forward speed, one reverse gear. Uh, there's a big manual handbrake in the middle. There's lots of exposed metal down there in the carpet. This is absolutely classic mini, perfect stuff. The windows are windy. Let's see a winded thing here. To get the windows to open and close is the same. And to the open door is a big handle there to, to do that with. So it, that's about it, really. You have lights and wipers. There's a windscreen washer. That's good. One of them works on this side. Uh, could I drive this every day? No. No. Because starting it means I have to do the manual choke. Make sure it's in neutral. The smell of petrol out. <laughs> it's just like, no. As a weekend classic car, yes, 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 yes. You could drive away in this thing. The thing is... We actually got the whole family in here, in the back, in the front. We got the whole, all four of us fitted in this car quite comfortably. Uh, it's not terribly comfortable to drive because there's no suspension basically in the Mini. They, they put the very solid shocks in it. Makes it very good for handbrake turns, but that's as far as it gets. Let's see if I can fold myself into the back seat of this car. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, by the way. Okay, here we go. We're going to get in the back seat. So you put a knob down here and lift that up. Very straightforward, actually. And get in the back. And before you say boo, you're in. I have enormous leg room back here. <laughs> That's enormous. There's door bins, massive door bins. There's even, a, I don't think it's supposed to be a detachable, but there's an ashtray back here. And there's a crook lock, as you would be called in Australia and New Zealand, crook lock. But the, like, I have so much room. Look at all the room you have. Not just lifts up out of the way, which I quite like as well. Rather than it being sort of slide back and forward, complicated thing, it's just on a hinge. End of story. But like you could have lunch back here. I can put my feet out and everything. <laughs> this is wonderful. 
Well done, Minnie. 30 years ago, you won on interior space. That's deadly. Love it. Love it. Right. So you do fit in the back. Uh, you don't get anything apart from an ashtray and a door, two door bins, which you can easily get your lunch into. And I mean, like, they're huge. Right. Let's have a look at the poos. See how big that is. <coughs> That's even easy to get out of. Where did we go wrong with car design that that made that complicated? Anyway, boot space. Now, the unfortunate bit of this car is everything has a key. So there's one key for every door, but you do have to consistently take your key out and start clicking and opening things. Anyway, there's the boot. So the boot falls down. That's the fuel tank in there, which sounds a bit empty. Uh, and after that, there's got, look, that's my camera bag. There's a drone in there. There's tons of room in here. I got, me, I got everything in here. We got the kids' bags in here as well. Massive of space. The Austin Mini. It was of course Austin Allegro. It was uh, the Morris Minor, Austin Minor, something else as well. They've got a pile of cars. This one came at a point in history. It's hot in here. There's no air conditioners, even here. This one came at a point of history, which is kind of weird. But also, Honda, Nissan, they were all opening factories in the UK, which is putting other factories under massive of pressure to try and produce something. And here was little Mini in 1989, still producing this car from the 40s. It looked out of place. I've had an 89 Corolla once upon a time which had electric windows in the front. It had a normal seating position. It had ABS, weirdly. It had an airbag in the front. None of that stuff is in this car. And yet, there's something just joyful about driving this car. There's something, something spiritual, nearly. Like, like it's got a soul. Like it's, it's more than the sum of its parts. That part I really love. I don't really know. Are we on? A newer dog. There's some cyclists as well. Now, it's not exactly nippy, but you know what? You'll get four people in this car easily because what Mini did was made a Let's just close that window there. What Mini did was made an engine and then turned it upside down and put it into the same slot as a normal engine does, but they realized that the engine took up less space. They could push it away out in front, which gave much more room inside the cabin, which allowed four adults to sit in here. Adults might be a stretch, but you will get four individuals in here, and you'll have a big boot, and you have fuel economy, and you have small wheels, and you have something that's very easy to repair. This is really straightforward. There is nothing in here to go wrong. I have a manual choke. If you haven't experienced one of those, you should. There's a lot of vibration, I do apologize. It is a 30-year-old car after obviously equivalent to driving a 90-year-old granny. But it still goes. Now at 40, you hear that noise? 45 to 50 miles an hour, that is there. Now if I go faster, <laughs> it goes away. When you go over 50, that noise is gone. So I can't find what's making that noise. You have to drive around at 48 miles an hour to try and do it. <laughs> it's funny. Behind me is the most modern tech of all, the Hyundai Kona and 191 Kona. And he's so close behind me that it's crazy. I can go faster, but I just don't want to put it under that kind of pressure. It doesn't need to be. It's not that kind of car. It never was. Yet it will go faster. Driven by all of the cool people of the entire world. Used in movies after movies after movies. Michael Caine drove it. Uh, Peter Sellers drove one. Ringo Starr. Uh, look, anyone who's anyone really drove a Mini because it was really fashionable to drive something like this. It made a real statement of intent. 
any second now that, that Hyundai is going to get really nice. Here's as close as you can be. This is what happens in a Mini when you want to drive at a normal speed. You get guys who want to tail grip. He's just drumming his fingers on his steering wheel. I want to just run going. Do you mind? I'm a much more important person than you are. <laughs> noise isn't it for 30 miles an hour <laughs> I know it's good the great tragedy for Mini for Austin and the whole company was just a short few years after this car came out the whole company was bought out by BMW now you can look at that any way you want you can look at that as the Germans have come in and taken over our car company from the UK but actually Every car company in the UK was under fierce pressure. Every Japanese company was looking to open a new business right there in the UK. They wanted a slice of that pie, boys. You were dying anyway. And these cars were not gonna save you. So with rose-tinted glasses, we look back on the Mini. And what it did, my neck, and in fact, there's no elbow room in here whatsoever, but what it did for everybody, what it did for us, what it did for motoring community, what it did out there in everyday life, it, it became a symbol of freedom. And for that, I salute you. But I think forever, this small, big car should be consigned to the history books. This is the way it should stay. Minis now are big five-door hatchbacks. Four-door, two-door, States. So minis now are, well, big five door hatchbacks. They're not this little two door tiny car anymore. Now they're a big car. There's nothing wrong with that because you don't feel very safe in this at any speed. I mean, my knees are the crumple zone going that way. And my elbow is the crumple zone going that way. And back there, if hadn't hit me, oh, the fuel tank is in the boot. So thank you very much for watching. Hopefully, you've learned something about the history of the Mini uh, and everything it represents in this world. Why it's so important and so is your subscription. I absolutely adore new subscribers. I love you all. You all come every single week and subscribe to the channel. It's brilliant. And I adore you, so keep coming. Um, hopefully you can support the channel maybe financially as well. There are PayPal links, Patreon links and so on down below. Uh, but either way, I hope you just subscribe and hit the bell icon and enjoy yourself. Until the next time, I will see you on the far side. And you.